Hi, welcome back. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple ammo box. I'm going to be going on from my reload mechanism blueprint, so I'll just put that video in the corner over here and allow you to watch that first if you haven't already. So to do this, we're going to want to go into our first blueprint folder in this content folder, into the blueprints folder, and then first person character. And I'm only doing this just to show you this is the reload function as finished and then we have some setup over here and we already have a HUD value set up so if you know how to do that then I'm sure you can very simply make it if you don't as I say just watch the tutorial I linked in the description and it was in the corner of the video okay so to do this what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to bring in a simple object so I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new blueprint and we're going to want an actor one. And we can call this ammo box. Double left click to open it. Okay, I'm going to add the component cube. And now we can just mess with the scale. Gonna say like 0 0.2 for the X, 0 0.2 for the Y, 0 0.2 for the Z, and then maybe actually like 0 0.4 for the Y. Give it that ammo box sort of feel in the materials. I'm just going to set it up with something simple. So then we want to go and set collision presets here to overlap all dynamic. And then we want to go to the event graph. And you can see this event begin, event actor begin overlap. So we want to, so now what we want to do is we want to drag this off and cast to first person character. and we want to get our player character put that in the object okay as first person character set total ammo to integer plus integer as first person character we want to get our total ammo, put that in the top one, add, I don't know, 30, and set our total ammo equal to that. So now we want to drag this in, put it in a level somewhere, play, and when we go over it, as you can see, it increases our ammo, but as you can also see, it stays there, so that doesn't make it very effective. It works, but it also means it can just keep filling the character's inventory, which isn't exactly what we want. So we're going to set this up a bit more efficiently. So after it's set, I want to drag out a new node and type in destroy actor target self. So that will destroy the ammo box once we've got the ammo from it. Just a quick demonstration of that. And it's gone. Can't be used by anybody else. Now if you have a maximum amount of ammo set in mind, that could be from a different class or just generic overall, you're going to want to use a branch state. Okay, so we're going to bring in a branch. And what we're going to want to do is see if our total ammo is anywhere near our maximum ammo we want to allow to carry. So I'm going to get integer is greater than and as I have in mind a maximum carrying weight of 240 I'm going to say 210. Actually I'm just going to do 209. If this is false then we want to do it this way. However if it's true just control C and control V that and same for that one. If it's true, just set this to 240. That's the only reason I'm doing 209 is because it will just add 30 on it so anyway, because the next one up from 209 to 210. And an easy way to show this is if I go to my first person character, total ammo, I'm going to set this equal to 220. Compile it and play. Oh, some errors. 
Okay. So we need to drag that onto that. I forgot when you can copy and paste that, uh, you need to realign the first person character. Otherwise, it's going to try and call that variable from itself, in which we don't have any variables for it in this blueprint. So it can pile it all and play. And now, when I step over this, it just goes to 240 and it destroys itself. Okay, so there you have it. That's a very simple way to make an ammo box that can refill your ammo in the game and destroy itself so nobody can use it after you. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then just give it a thumbs down. If your opinions are otherwise, or if you have any advice or questions, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll try and read them. Okay, thank you. Bye.